But a fast moving strain of MPOX, formerly known as monkeypox, it's spreading across Africa. What's the latest? So you might see these headlines and they can be quite disturbing and scary, but I just want to break down exactly what we know in terms of these numbers. This is the second public health emergency by, of international concern given by the World Health Organization because of the spread currently going on within Africa. Uh, within 13 countries, there are more than 15,000 cases of this new MPOX strain. It's the clade one strain. Now, why is that important to know? Because the strain that's currently circulating in Africa is more harmful than the strain that we saw in 2022 mm. here in the United States. So that is what requires that international response, and that's why it's an international concern. Uh, thankfully, the risk to the general public overall is low. The vaccines that we've implemented last year and the year before in 2022 still had that sustained effectiveness in terms of who gets this vaccine. As a reminder, those who are gay men who are having sexual intercourse with other gay men, as well as those who are having transactional sex, as well as those who are having just in general more than one intimate partner within a short period of time should probably get vaccinated. It's two doses, uh, 28 days apart. Just as a simple reminder, a lot of the effort that we've put in with public health information and education has done a fantastic job. In 2022, here in the United States, there were 30,000 cases, most recently less than 2,000. So mm -hmm. there's a lot to be done uh, in terms of helping internationally, but I think we're ahead of the ball uh, in terms of this uh, outbreak. Yeah, and we have seen a case of this in Sweden now. So, yeah. of course, everyone here in the United States is going, should be worried here. Yeah, well, I think that the overall worry that we have here in the United States should still be relatively low. Now, this virus still passes by close, intimate contact, so being aware of who is at risk is important. And that one case that we saw in Sweden was someone who recently traveled from Africa. So I think that the risk overall of this becoming a widespread pandemic is relatively low, thanks again to the public health implementation and that education, which is so important and so vital. All right, the doctor has spoken. And your prescription for wellness? Ah, just to change the beat a little bit, uh, you know I've been on my workout journey and I've been lifting a lot. And one thing that I love to do when I work out is to eat. And I know that that doesn't sound right. But I think it's a lot of moments, uh, many times, I learned this from my trainer, is that eating is important. And obviously we talk about it all the time. I don't think it was until I really focused on changing my eating and how I ate that I saw real results. So my prescription for wellness today is how you can fuel up for those workouts to help with your recovery as well. So make sure, number one, two hours before your workout, you want to hydrate. You want to drink water and also grab healthy carbs like whole grain cereals, brown rice, fruits and vegetables. And you also want to avoid saturated fats. That can take up energy and slow you down. And then during your workout, and many people don't realize this, I always have a snack. If your workout is high intensity, snack on things like low-fat yogurt, raisins, bananas. That can help you sustain that energy. And if your workout is longer than an hour, I think that's where energy, work, uh, energy drinks can be helpful. Remembering to drink about 6 to 12 ounces every 30 minutes. That can help you hydrate and replenish. And then also eating within two hours after after your workout. Uh, that is to help your muscles recover and replace that needed glycogen. Look for lean protein and healthy fats, including things like avocado, fatty fish, nuts, trail mix. And the body can store these fats and improve your endurance for your next workout. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to figure out how to work out, remember to grab a snack. <laughs> I said, no, we can wait two hours after workout because I always heard, you know, 30 minutes. If you pass 30 minutes, it doesn't work anymore. You know, that's a, I think that the theory of the 30 minutes is not really tried and tested. The two hours seems to be the biggest time point. And so if you can get it in within two hours of that last wait, then you can still get that benefit. Mm -hmm. I'll go Maybe they the tell people 30 minutes so they don't miss it. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right. that is a part of me done. thought that that might be with swimming, <laughs> <Yeah>. too. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we'd love to hear from you. So please hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for Dr. Darian at ABC GMA3.